Well, hello there, gang. It's your boy, Massful27. We are into the Taken Treasures event in Pokemon Go. And with it defeating this grunt will allow us to complete the first page. You can see at the bottom there of the research, which has now been unlocked, stage nine. And that gives us a shadow shuckle. Not shiny eligible, unfortunately, but we have this new wave of Team Rocket Go grunts. And the leaders, we've got new shadow shiny Pokemon. That's a mouthful, isn't it? And that also is the 15th Pokemon that we've caught in doing that as well. So that's good. So the timeless travels 9 of 14, that's what I was alluding to. We're gonna quickly whiz through that. And I wanna thank Wolverine as well for the ticket for this event as well. Oh, load of tickets, all the good stuff as always in the game. Does not disappoint us, but there's Willow flashing. I'm gonna claim the reward on the first page. And there's Scraggy. Scraggy, I did get the shiny on the last event. The first one that I've ever had. What I really wanted and one that I got. So extremely happy with that one. A great event, as you can tell. I'm still buzzing from that one. Right, we've also done the first page of the said ticket event. And that is the Taken Treasures. So thank you again, Wolverine, for the ticket. We will get an encounter on the first page. And that gives us a Wild Brooks ish. You can see the two of 15 on the bottom. So that signifies we've got to catch some more Pokemon and we're going to go and do that. So, what do we get there? We get a single use incubator, which is nice. A thousand Stardust, standard incubator, I should say. And that is the first page done. There it is. It appears again after I've closed it down. So, taking treasures two of four. We've got to catch 20 Pokemon. We've got to transfer 25. That will not be difficult. And we've got to defeat five Team Go Rocket Grunts today. That will take a little bit of time. Those who follow the channel also know I play Pokemon Go around real life. That is what it's all about for me. It's getting the best of both worlds. And I want to share something with you because along the canal, which you can see behind me, see it behind me there, we've got a couple of swans, well, a couple of cygnets, actually. We've been watching them over the last, probably the last sort of six months, and uh, they are starting to find their own way. Now, let me just point you there. They are. See them down there? Beautiful. We still see the grey feathers on the one just down there. But yeah, they are lovely. Um, they featured a couple of my vlogs before. But yeah, bless them. Real life and all that. But now we need to get back into the action. And that is defeating Team Go Rocket Grunts. And we didn't have to wait too long because we have forgot ourselves. It's a boosted shot. It's shiny bronzer on the walk, which is lovely. We, we don't need any of these. But yeah, it's always good to get sparkles when you're out on a Pokemon Go adventure. So we will take that. Bronzer in there, shiny bronzer. Let's do a quick check with you all. It's a 15, 5, 14. We'll take that. 27th today as well. Good number. We're doing the sixth Team Go Rocket Grunt. And we're making a little bit of hard work for this one. And uh, the God Legendary Bimmerel is uh, making life a little bit too difficult for us here. But this will be the sixth one beaten. And that will be the second stage, basically, of both sets of pages. So we'll quickly catch this one here. And that's a Shadow Teddy Ursa. That is taking treasures two of four completed now. So let's do this bit first and see what encounter we get on the second page. It is a Scraggy. We're going to get 2,000 Stardust. We can get ourselves three Silver Pineapp Berries. And we're going to get ourselves some more XP, which is nice. And we've also got the special page here. Timeless Travels 10 of 14 is complete by beating those six Team Go Rocket Leads. And we get ourselves three Mysterious Components. We get ourselves 1500 XP, we get ourselves 1500 Stardust, and we get ourselves a Rocket Radar. I've backed up, stacked up three already, so we are going to be able to do the Team Rocket Leaders pretty quickly. Here we go, we now need to find them. Like I said before earlier, they have got new Shadow Shinies available in the game. And Sierra was found quite easily, and actually taken down quite easily. It's, it's Tentacruel 
which is the other new Shadow Shiny uh, Team Go Rocket leader encounter you can have. See, I wasn't very happy with me. A team of matchups, actually, only one matchup was needed then. Sableye and Houndoom were the other two encounters that I had to face. And there's the first 12 kilometer egg, which could which could be hatched today. I don't know how much we're going to walk, actually. I might need to get some super incubators. If I don't, that'll be later in the week. And there we go. Tentacool, sorry, I said Tentacool. A tentacool is there. Now, the third page of the ticketed research is we've got to defeat 10 Go Rocket leaders. That's quite a lot. And we've got to catch five Shadow Pokemon, which is not that hard at all. But there we go. That is the first of the new shiny eligible ones. Tentacool, not cruel. And that one is done. So Sierra's done. Two to go. And that is Cliff taken down. Cliff has got Shadow Zubat. Is it any good with 222 CP? It's not, but that's two or three down. And there's another Cliff there and another Sierra there. And there is Arlo. Look at that. Almost perfect timing. Arlo was a little bit tricky, but we use fighting type Pokemon. I had to use an M-Ball with a fire type move on there. Um, Arlo leads with Bagon, which is probably the best Shadow Shiny of the new batch, if I'm honest with you. Even though I do have a soft spot for Zubat with that green and purple background. And another top commentator, which is what we obviously want. Hypno was in the middle, and then it was finished off with Salamance. The Salamance is tricky, but if you've built up the fast type or the fast charges uh, with match up, dynamic punch. They can do quite a bit of damage, actually. It says it's not effective, but it takes about a third of it down in one go. So if you get those charge attacks built up quite quickly, it's pretty good there. So it isn't shiny, unfortunately. Shadow Shiny Bagon would be one to get there, but that is the third one of the Team Go Rocket leaders done. That was actually done relatively quickly. I do like it when you stack up the rocket radars because they are actually quite, with these Team Go Rocket themed events, they are readily available, as you'd imagine. So there we go, that one is done. So we're now done on that page. Let's quickly jump over to it, and we're gonna get ourselves the XP, 11 of 14. This will give us the Super Rocket Radar with the 2,500 XP and the Stardust, there it is. And this is gonna enable us to go and hunt down Giovanni. Thank you very much. Right, it's quite nice actually, get into this stage. We've got to find the Team Go Rocket boss, we've got to defeat it or battle him. So we've got to find Giovanni, in the words of Pokemon Go, Graveler, no, let's go. Decoy Grunts do have Shadow Bellsprout, which on the previous rotation could have been shiny. So if you want to try and farm Decoy Grunts for Shadow Bellsprout, so it can be shiny, like this one is, no it's not then that is also something that's worth doing. So the sooner you collect Giovanni, well, you stop having that opportunity. So the decoy grunts can have Shadow Bell Sprout, which is nice. Nice that they haven't changed that. And last time I didn't take advantage of that. So, oh, 15, 15, 11, one of my best Shadow Pokemon in a long while. So we will keep hunting them down a little bit because actually now I know that I'm not in a rush to get to Giovanni. I knew as soon as I was gonna click on it, what was gonna happen, but yeah, you can see it there. It's my second shiny bronzer of this adventure today. Like I said before, it's a boosted shiny. Doesn't mean that you're going to get it, but uh, RNG has been very kind on me today. We're just trying to find Giovanni. That is definitely the challenge right now. Any good? Okay, as we creep up on this one, there's Giovanni there. But is it Giovanni? Who knows? Is it? Come on, what have we got? It's a decoy grunt. Oh! Oh no, there's not a lot of Giovannis on the map at the moment, but let's see what this one leads with. Quick thing I want to say, loving the Revive All and also the potions, you can use them and Heal All. That's a game changer. Don't know when that came in the game, but only just noticed that today. What have we got on this one? Is it another Shadow Bell Sprout? This would be quite cool if it is. It is another Shadow Bell Sprout, so that is good, but we need the shiny one. Can you shine for me, Shadow Bell Sprout? I love this decoy grunt. Actually, the game is pretty cool with it when you've got a chance for a Shadow Shiny. No. Ooh, 188, you are absolutely awful. Yet another decoy grunt. That is the seventh one now that we've had today. I think Giovanni is going to elude us, but can the Shadow Shiny Bell Sprout join the party? No, it can't. 212. I really, really thought we were going to get Giovanni on today's little adventure. We've put in a bit of a grind for it. I'll try and catch that one there very quickly. But thank you for joining me on this adventure. It has been fun. We've done some good progress today. 
on this. Really forced, like I said, we find Giovanni. It's not the end of the world. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to quickly do something. I want to try tempt fate. Can we get a third one? No, we can't. That would have been absolutely epic-ish, <laughs> boosted epic-ish. So there we go. Let's quickly check on the rocket radar. No, not the one behind there we can't get to. Many hours later. I didn't think it was going to happen, but Giovanni has graced us with an appearance in his balloon. And hopefully we'll get ourselves decent Shadow Kyogre. Like I said, this will overtake Kyogre as the best water type Pokemon in the game behind the primal versions. It's, it's, it's an epic Pokemon Kyogre, it certainly is a water type. So let's try and burn through these two shields very, very quickly. And we will hopefully do this first time around. It would be nice to have this as a one and done. So can we get this down? We will use the shield. I always play it safe with this because we're one shield each. And if we can get Persian down without having to have any problems and let's now build up the second charge move dynamic punch on neither king that's not good news for us but hey we will give this a good go right here we go first one is blue so let's put new two in we're gonna do the switch there super effective which is nice and now giovanni has burnt both of the shields so hopefully with a nice psychic smooth on this one we should be able to get it down and do some good damage on it. Side strike, there we go. All wiped out there. And hopefully, we'll, we've still got the shield. We should do this very simply. Uh, we've got Kyogre in the background. I say Kyogre very simply. Kyogre is amazing. This is exciting, getting Shadow Kyogre. as the brand new Shadow Legendary in the game. There we go. Like I said, we've still got the shield, which is nice. If we can get another side strike in there, yes, we can. This will mean that we can finish it off with the Machamps. And uh, yeah, nice to get this done. I was on my feet quite a bit today. Didn't think, well, we didn't find it out on, on our feet. And can we get the next one in? No, we can't. Well, there we go. Kyogre is pretty much done. So we've got some dynamic punches. One of them's very quickly charged up and this will finish it off. And this will be our encounter. We'll see how good it is. I've seen some awful ones on social media. And this is the problem with the shadow ones. There's no, it, it could be anything basically. And Giovanni is beaten. There we go. Giovanni done. Happy days indeed. And we've got 5,000 Stardust, 8 max potions, and 4 max revives. We've battled the Team Go Rocket uh, boss and we've defeated the Team Go Rocket boss. So here we go. Don't know what the CPs are, so we'll catch it and then check. 3, 2, 1. Bonus Kyogre. There we go. 920 looks good, actually. 920 looks good. Let's get in there. 920. It looks good. I've seen some in the 700s, I think. High oh, 700s. Let's see what this is. Coca Court, we get the extra candy, free candy XL in there. Right, here we go. Have we struck gold? One, two, three. Oh, we have. That's, that's brilliant. That's amazing. 14, 13, 15 on our Shadow Kyogre. Well, we've done really, really well there. That's a Hundo. We could purify that to a Hundo which would be my first Hundo Kyogre. We're not going to do that one. Please don't purify it if you've got something like this. It's far stronger as a Shadow Mon. That's brilliant. Shadow Kyogre is caught. and We've got a 920 with it. Well, there we go. What a nice way to end this one up. I hope you enjoyed it. We will catch up soon.